Hey everyone, welcome to Colours Clearance Session 15 from the 10th of September. And uh, yeah, this is uh, 315 attempts so far, and uh, best is yellow to pink, as you already know this if you've watched any of these other videos. Um, so let's get going. Now, I'm going to say from the outset, I'm going to spoil it, but it's probably already been spoiled by the, th spoiled by the thumbnail if I uh, remember to do it. This is the one, folks. This is the one. This is where it happens. So keep watching and find out when it happens and how it happens. Is it a fluke? Is it a perfect run? But I do actually get a full yellow to black colours clearance in this session. But before we get there, we're going to have to sit through a few yellow misses, I believe, <laughs> if I remember back from editing. Um, starting with that one. Club was pretty busy as well at the time. Uh, I was inspired because uh, not the two gentlemen in the, on the left of the screen there, but the, there was a, there was a chap on the table to the right of the screen that you can't see. But he was a really good player, and I watched him do essentially do a colours clearance as if it was nothing. So I was feeling pretty inspired. I almost asked him for tips, but I didn't. I didn't dare. Um, but yes, this is the session that it happens. Uh, not a great camera angle for the green, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. But I'd say every table was in use at the time. Let's say, I think I said in the last video, it's so good to see the club fully in use again. But it just means, uh, I mean, I need to be a bit more uh, careful about what days I plan to film. Uh, because, uh, well, what times I plan to film. Because uh, God, God, this was like an evening, I think. Um, so yeah, the club was pretty busy. I believe our local uh, amateur uh, inter club league starts soon. Uh, if not a week, if not started already, as as I record this commentary, but probably only a couple of weeks out from when this video was uh, filmed. So there's a lot of people practicing, obviously getting ready for the league starting. Uh, I think. The club I play at has, uh, I think, four or five teams that play in the league, two divisions. Uh, I currently am not in a team, but you never know, it might happen. I've got a few irons, that, well, one iron in the fire to potentially get on a team, but we'll see if that happens or not. Finally get a yellow in, but don't hit it very hard. Seven session, seven attempts in this session. I think I've only potted the yellow twice. So it's probably quite hard to believe at this point that this is a session that it happens, but trust me it is. Yeah, sorry for making you sit through all these yellow misses. It's pretty pathetic. They're just not going in tonight. That's better. Not quite the position I want on the green there. I don't know how I almost managed to snooker myself on the green behind the brown, but I did. You can just about get through to the potting angle though. Mm -hmm. 
mighty friends, I was pretty distracted by the guy coming through the door at the same time. I do try and make an effort when I'm in the club and others are on a shot. I do try and, you know, rather than marching around the table when others are on shots and stuff, I try and keep still. But And I think most other club players are the same, but there's a few that maybe could do with uh, learning a bit of etiquette, like that fellow coming through the door. There's glass doors, so you can see somebody's on a shot. I mean, I'm only practicing, but he wasn't. He doesn't know that. Oh dear! I'm suffering with the green as well tonight. But I need to be positive because this is it. This is the one. I mean, not this particular attempt, but this is this is the session. Oh. That's a bit better. We are nicely in and nicely on the green. Should be able to do a delicate screw back on for the brown. Could this be the one? Oh, got into that a bit too much. So, pretty low on this brown. I think I even have to use the rest. Come on and off the, uh, the bolt cushion back for the blue. No. Yeah, that was always going to be tough. So, it's not this one. A little thin on this green, but it should be okay. Can't really see though because my heat's in the way. Did it go in? Yeah, I think I heard it drop. It did go in. Yeah. Again, too far on this brown. Is it another rest shot? I think it might be. Yeah. Let's hope it's better than the last one. Look how far that cue is from the ball. Well, it goes in. And actually, that's not bad. It needs to slow up a little bit. It's just about slowed up. Uh, nice panning on the, on the old camera. Just nicely drop that in. I am on the wrong side of the table, but beggars can't be choosers. Pretty nicely on this pink, just slightly high, so I can uh, get onto the black fairly routinely. Have practiced this shot a few times. From the other side of the table, mostly, but... No. Not this attempt. <laughs> it was pretty much the right shot on the pink. I think if I'd got it on target, the like, position on the black would have been a bit better.
just about got into that enough. Would have preferred the cue ball to roll a little bit further. Also should have played it with more left hand side to get it down the table a bit more. So it's a bit of a thin one this time. I don't think I can just roll the blue in like I did on the last one. I might have to come off the bottom cushion. Yeah. It needs to slope. It needs to slope a little bit. Ooh. It's left it a little longer than I would like. Longer than I would practice, but... I am the right side of it, at least, to get on the black. pretty happy with that. I'm on the black and I'm on the black nicely. It's pretty much straight. Got nothing to do with the cue ball. Even I couldn't miss from here, surely. Well, let's find out. Composing myself, getting down for the shot. If I ever need a straight cue, here it is. And in it goes. I was a bit, I was a bit panicked that the cue ball was going to go in after it. A full club, so I couldn't jump for joy and celebration, but uh, believe me, I am inside. Well, there we have it. That's it. The challenge is done. And it, it took a while. I'm sorry about that. 332 attempts to be total. But, um, you know, I'm a beginner, or I was a beginner a few months ago. Um, so, yeah, so that is the end of the Colours Clearance series, at least for now. I may bring it back at some point, um, you know, but it is going to take uh, uh, an indefinite hiatus but I do feel like it might be a good benchmark to sort of see how I'm getting on so it might be that in a few months time or or maybe less I uh, just have a session where I try it again and see if I can get it in a session for example but I'm getting ahead of myself I've only just managed it once after 332 attempts uh, I haven't done it since either or I haven't tried so that's uh, probably the main reason for that and uh, yeah so that is it for the Colors Clearance Challenge I wanted to come on camera and just give you a little bit of a thank you really for watching. Uh, I know there's been a lot of videos over the last few days. Uh, the reason for that is basically because obviously I've known since the 10th of September, which is a good sort of over a week now, that I have done, that I had done the challenge. And uh, I also was aware that I had, you know, seven or eight sessions worth of videos from the Colors Clearance Challenge that I needed to put up. And I wanted to be completely transparent you know i said at the beginning of the series that i wanted to show every attempt and that's basically what i've done i haven't edited any out i haven't um, missed out a session these are all the sessions where i've attempted a full clearance challenge um, the only thing you missed is where i've practiced individual shots so i did spend uh, probably a 20 minute session practicing brown to blue and a similar amount of time practicing uh, blue to pink and pink to black probably they're the only things you haven't missed i didn't put them on camera uh, I maybe captured some, but anyway, the only, the only other things I haven't done. So you have seen all 332 attempts. I know there's a lot of missed yellows. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't learn my lessons. Uh, I guess the only, th the only thing I might do to end the series off is maybe like a super cut of all my, not all my attempts, but some of the better attempts or some of the one, basically the attempts where I hit a new milestone kind of thing. Um, and then maybe review, maybe like a, like what what I would have done differently, my top tips, if you like, something like that about um, you know trying to get a colours clearance for the first time. Uh, I've got a few a few ideas for that. Uh, certainly things I would have done differently. Uh, but before I sign off, though, I want to just thank a few people. Uh, and uh, well, I, I, I actually I mainly want to thank all my subscribers, uh, all uh, 170 of them, I think, at last check. But um, I've probably put on 20, 25 or so just in the last sort of week as I've been putting out these daily videos. So that's sort of made quite a difference. You know, I, I only put on sort of at the moment before these videos, probably only two or three a week. So to put on sort of 25 in a week is pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I was going to say I was going to take a break from the channel for a couple of weeks. Now I've done the channel, you know, I've done this challenge, uh, but I want to, I don't want to, let the momentum subside so i do i am going to carry on with some videos and uh, i've got some ideas about some different videos to, to put up as well as continuing some different challenges things like that i've got another sno snooker lesson in a week's time so hopefully that will bring with it some new challenges and some new things to work on uh, but yeah look out for those new videos coming soon 
But before I sign off, I just want to thank uh, a few people specifically by name. Um, and these are, I'm just going to look at my notes on my tablet. These are people specifically who've commented on the Colors Clearance videos uh, offering, you know, support or uh, advice or just general encouragement or empathizing with uh, having done it themselves and struggling kind of thing. So I hope I've remembered everybody. If not, I'm sorry. I definitely tried to remember everybody, uh, but my uh, I'm not infallible, <laughs> as you've seen with my snooker. So these are certainly the uh, the ones I remember and thank. So Kendall Troy, he's been a member since or a subscriber since the beginning. Um, he's commented on almost every video offering uh, advice and support. So thank you to Kendall. Um, George Buckhout uh, gave me some advice specifically how to get through the hot weather. Uh, SP Basher gave me some advice about um, feathering with the cue ball. Uh, and, you know, close to the cue ball, sorry. Parwan Thakur, hopefully I've pronounced that right, uh, Parwan. Uh, just again, empathizing that uh, the brown to blue is the most difficult shot and he struggled with it. Uh, Michael Barnes, he's one of a few people who've mentioned that I need to put a pause in uh, before delivering the cue to the cue ball, uh, which he's definitely right. Hopefully you'll see that, uh, you know, the fru fruits of that labor as I try to commit that to muscle memory coming in uh, new videos. Tenzin Sharab, just giving me advice on different ways of playing some of the specific shots, you know, not necessarily having to go off cushions and things like that. So thanks, Tenzin. Um, uh, Brian Stafford, again, uh, just sort of uh, giving me general advice about, you know, the fact I think I mentioned in one of the videos that I was uh, getting a bit frustrated with the challenge and he was saying, like, you know, go away and do something else, come back to it in a, in a little bit, which I kind of did, which is why, I, you know, I did take a little bit of time off it. Um, uh, and, and he was specifically told me to practice individual shots. So that, again, that's what I did. And, um, Simon Perry, my neighbor who you see me play, uh, he also not necessarily in the comments, but he gave me plenty of support along the way. Uh, Simon, uh, sorry, Samuel Weeks, uh, gave me some specific advice on how to play the blue to brown shot about uh, what stun to put on it on and things like that. So thanks to him. Um, uh, George Book and David McCaw just generally giving me uh, support, like liking the channel uh, as, you know, both sort of saying similar, similar sort of things that, you know, there's plenty of channels of coaches and pros and things like that, or, or like um, just like cuts of uh, like highlights of, of pro games and things like that, which is great. I love all that stuff. I watch plenty of it. And we're going to do a video at some point of uh, all the uh, different uh, coaching channels and uh, just general sneaker channels that I watch and support. But he was, you know, they were both like, it's nice to see some grassroots amateur snooker, uh, at, at, you know, at, at this kind of level. So I'm glad that you're appreciating that. Uh, Dr. Luke Blackshill has been a member quite early on as well. Just again, just giving me support, telling me that even the misses look like the right sort of position and things like that. Excuse me. Um, Phil Norris, similar to the other guys, uh, just again, just giving me, thanking me for putting a channel like this up. So you're welcome. Um, uh, Ian Matheson gave me some specific advice about my uh, bridge hand and some V, my V and all that kind of stuff. And he's completely right. And hopefully he'll see some uh, results from that fairly soon. And uh, finally, I think finally. Oh no, Luke Davenport is not finally. He, he also... To, um, gave me some very good advice about staying down on the shot, whether it's a good shot or a bad shot, to, to, to speed up my angle learning, which again, he's absolutely right. And hopefully you'll see that happening, uh, Luke. Uh, and finally, uh, Simon Seabridge, uh, again, has been a member from quite early on, but uh, recently commented on a few, few of my uh, videos, uh, giving me, again, some pretty good advice and uh, even potentially offering me some uh, further coaching. So that would be nice. Uh, so yeah, thanks to Simon, but thanks to everybody who's watched over the last few days uh, and generally over the series. It's been quite a journey. Uh, it's not over though. Uh, I'm, you know, I started this channel. I am serious about becoming a good snooker player. Um, 
hopefully that will happen over the next couple of years uh, and beyond. And uh, hope you stick with me. Thanks for watching.